Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the white trunks and weighs 228 and three quarter pounds. He's from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This Olympic gold medal champion has 15 consecutive victories, 10 by knockout. Introducing the number one challenger in the world, solid black trunks. He weighs 216 pounds. From Catskill, New York, 27 of his 31 unblemished victories are by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, the undefeated, undisputed, heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. You just don't know. Expect Tyson to jump right on Tyrell Biggs. Three questions that Mike Tyson really has to answer. Can he cope with a clever boxer? Can he survive a heavy punch? Man angles, throw the jab like he's doing now, not to let Tyson set up. Uh, Tyson also said that he has found a pattern in Tyrell Biggs that he faints to the right before the punch actually is thrown. Well, whatever he does, the fact that Tyson has to set up to get that kind of leverage. See, a good snapping jab is very effective. Whether or not Biggs can keep this up is yet to be seen. It's not time to be pretty in here. It's just time to frustrate this man. And that's what they want from, Ty from uh, Biggs. Good, consistent jab. And along the lines of patterns, Biggs feels that Tyson actually bobs in a pattern four times, and then he comes up with his head. He's trying for the head. Now we see seeing head, head hunting from Mike Tyson. He can't get into that. Good shot by Tyson. Get off the ropes, tie your man up. That's the way. Get him back into the center ring. Use the jab again. And come with that right hand. shot by Tyson. Teofilo Stevenson, and I admit it was five years ago, but he really bothered There me. is the hook, again, because his hands are down. Big is starting to become a stationary target, which is wrong. Right hand by Bad Tyson. A little bit of blood inside the mouth of Tyrell Biggs. because of the hook of Mike Tyson. He'll run right to the left hook. The plan was for give Biggs, rather, to move to his left. Now he's been lower. Remember, Stevenson broke three ribs of Tyrell Biggs. I'm looking for a left hook, Barry. I really am, because of the, look at the right hand of uh, Tyrell Biggs. That's the uppercut, and the right hand does the most damage. There was a big right hand, best punch of the fight. That was the left hook, Barry. That was the left hook I was talking about. Georgie Bennett would say, keep those hands high. Right, left, I'll get it right. Right, left, left. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, the right hand is down a big, the left hook has been scoring. And it rocked big. So Kevin Rooney wants Mike Tyson to jab a little bit more. And Big starts the third round backing up a little bit. Good stiff jab by Mike Tyson. Tyson will constantly flap. One, two. You see it. Steps in. Something he pointed out before the fight. And now it's Tyson just hammering him. That's a nasty cut. It's, it's, the blood is seeping to the eye. It's required a lot of work 
in the corner of Tyrell Biggs to stop that bleeding. The cut is right above the eye. It's exactly in the same place as the last one. I want to tell you what a finisher Mike Tyson is. It's the same right hand, Larry, that was thrown by David Beck. Let's remember that Biggs has fought his best when he's been in trouble. Remember, it was a pretty good job done by Ace Parada, his cut man, in the fight with David Bay. But again, Tyson just putting all the pressure on so, him, having it his way. Didn't seem like Michael was a good short uppercut by uh, Mike Tyson. A little more up by the movement from uh, Tyrell Biggs now. Start those some uppercuts. He took a big left hand there. Fight with a game plan, and almost from the opening bell, he'll just let that game plan go away. And a combination by Tyson, a left and a right behind him. Getting to be a mismatch. recognize himself when he wakes up tomorrow morning. I don't know what to break that rhythm and stop the momentum of Mike Tyson. He, can, he continues, Barry, to allow Mike to dominate him, himself, Biggs does, to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and be in a, actually a punching bag because Tyson is hard. Good body shot by Mike Tyson. And remember, the doctor was in Tyrell Biggs' corner and look long and hard at that cut in the last round and you're going to see him again. Tyson hit on a break that time. I'm telling you, the boxing match, man, wrestling match, and I say break, you go break, understand? You understand, Mike? Kill? Let's go. Five. That cut looks even uglier. Come on, this guy, come on, Doing here, Biggs holding on a great deal now. There was a right hand by Tyson. And another. Biggs, you have to say, he, he, he takes a good shot, but it, uh... Another left hand, and there's a great shot. Biggs is in trouble. His legs will look steady. Tyson's getting stronger, and Biggs is just holding on. fight combination customato the mentor of mike tyson used to put numbers on the different fight combinations and uh, kevin rooney is tyson's disciple i heard something interesting in big corner is it told me? him this trainer said if your legs are gone stand and fight them stand toe to toe and fight them Never. There's a right hand that just caught Biggs off balance. Biggs is covering up a lot of times unnecessarily and just trying to protect himself. Oh, that punch. That was a tremendous left hand. This is it. He is gone right now. He has no legs at all. And 10 seconds to go in a round. There's a left hand. He's down again. It's over. It's all over. And it wasn't even close. 
And what we've seen has happened so often in which a fighter after a few rounds starts to hang on to Tyson that we have to say it's Tyson's credit. He's the one who makes it happen. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 2 minutes, 59 seconds of the seventh round. The winner, still the undefeated, undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Mike Tyson!